So now, episode two, we're, we pretty much did running around in the first episode, and that's probably going to be the nature of this one, too, except it's going to be nighttime soon, and oh, there's some coal right when I need it. All right, so let me f quickly construct a workbench, like so, and I'm glad I got all that wood, because I am going to need it, and let me get some sticks. It's just now getting dark. Okay, great. And now I'm going to plop this workbench down. Make one axe, because this stone axe I don't really need for that much, except for this coal. If it's too on the surface, that's fine. But it might go in, and I can build a little, little shelter in here. Yeah, looks like we're going to luck out. All right, great. Good. Four coal, that's that's fine. I'm not, you know, I am going to take this with me, though. <laughs> I could always build another one, but why, why, why should I if I can bring it with me? So I'm not seeing, not seeing a cave there. And I'd like to find something to hide in that's natural. Maybe I got something over here. Okay, cool. I, w I probably should find high ground, but you know what? Here's some more coal. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to dig right into the side of this mountain here. I'm going to make a torch, or, or a couple of torches, because i got more coal here. Good. Put that like that. And good. Now you can see what's going on. And it says there's a lot of stuff out there but I don't want to take any chances. So I've got some dirt. Yeah, that did a whole lot. <laughs> um, okay, basically I want to move this so I can hide for now. This is also a treat because in the first season you didn't get to see the beginning of this, and I am really playing a survival type deal here. So I've got a pop some of these pieces of stone out. I'm going to need them anyway to make another axe, but for the time being, I just want to cover my 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 head so that nothing, you know, falls on me unexpectedly. Let me get a couple more here just so I can close this off cuz once it's daytime, I'll I'll be braver. There we go. And uh, things can't get in there. Well, maybe spiders can, but now they can't. Good. So let's begin this. Uh, it doesn't look like too much coal, but hey, you never know. Let's see. Uh, let's chop this up and, and make some more torches and stuff. Also, while I do this, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain how I'm going to improve on the season as well, because the game got improved on. So I figure that the video should reflect those improvements, and I'm gonna start doing some music and stuff during certain parts of, of the game that I'm playing, like from Final Fantasy II and Secret of Mana, so old school Super Nintendo games. Um, you know, just because I think it'd be fun, and it's something different from from me just talking, even though that has, you know, certain merits, like when I scream like a girl when I find a, a, an enemy or something. Now, in the previous season and version of this game, I could dig endlessly through this this cave here, or through these mountainsides, and eventually I'd end up on the other side. It might take a long time, because some mountains are massive, but that's what would happen. However, it's a little different story this time. Now I'm faced with the potential of opening up a cave with things in it. So I've got to be extra cautious. Well, there's some dirt. I wonder, i tell you what, get that stone, let me build a shovel for this. So I don't know how long it's going to be until I find a decent amount of iron to, to melt down and make some good tools. So build the shovel now, that way I can conserve as much as possible. Here's another thing that's kind of deceptive about this. In a lot of these caves, 
there's other things besides stone. There's dirt, there's gravel, there's water, there's lava, and not in places that you would normally find them. It is a lot more diverse, and the caves are, are just really, really pretty. And that, that actually might be a cave right there if I dig down a little bit, but I'm just trying to, to first of all, pass the time overnight and trying to find resources. Because once, once I can get some iron going on, then I can build, first of all, I need 24 pieces so I can build some armor. That is the first thing, especially if I'm going to be running around at nighttime trying to build stuff. I need armor. I learned my lesson from the last episode of the first season. It is not a good idea to be running around what I consider naked because you don't, you know, you never know. And it was a dumb thing that I did, but it was kind of cool at the same time because it was it was intense. I mean, ah, see, there we go. And that's huge in there because it's completely dark. So, I don't think I'm going to go that way, but I am going to try to light it up. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, things are getting interesting right off the bat. I wish I could... Well, I might as well take a risk and get rid of this just to see what I'm up against. That's a cool cave. It's like a half cave. And I've got coal down there. It doesn't look like there's anything here. Anything threatening, anyway. But you never know, especially since this is open up here. So maybe it wasn't smart to come down here, especially when I have no way to defend myself. I didn't even make a sword because, you know, I didn't think I was going to need it. Well, I did, but I was lazy. So let's just let's try to get back up here. And I really want that coal, though. Should I risk it? Yeah. Yeah, because I don't see any entities, which means I might not be in trouble. But, yeah, this is cool. I'm going to get coal, and that comes in handy, because coal... I was thinking about this before, too. Coal is, like, the best resource you can get. I mean, yeah, diamond is awesome, and it makes really, really good tools. But coal is is everything. I mean, without coal, there's so much you could not do. First of all, no torches. So you'd have to dig light holes all throughout your cave. And when you get really deep, that's just not practical. Torches are, are a must. Second of all, coal is the most efficient fuel in, in your furnace. And you don't need very much to get a ton of resources done. So that's the second thing. And there's a ton of it. So for me, it's really valuable. I don't see anything out there. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. It's probably what it is. At any rate, I'm waiting for it to be daytime, but I'm still going to be a badass and, and run through this and try to discover, because I really, really... I need iron more than I need my, my protection. I'm really concerned that if I don't get iron, it's going to be... it's going to end bad. So let's just poke our head up here. Yeah, that was definitely not smart. Something was there. Oh, maybe it's because it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Oopsie. Let me put this here, make a little bridge. This does, though. And I notice it actually goes outside, so I would have been killed anyway if something tried to, you know, find me. Uh, man. So this cave just kind of went right into the mountain. But it is becoming daytime, and that's a good thing. So next next show, next episode, we're going to get back to the exploration part of this. And I survived. This is good. So I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching.